Welcome back to our weekly NeoVim plugin video series. In this video series, I'm covering one NeoVim plugin per week in the form of a video or a short. So this week, we're talking about gitsigns.mvim. gitsigns.mvim is a plugin that adds de git decorations to the side of your code. So it's really cool. What are git decorations? Well, let me show you. Let me uh, turn off my camera real quick. Open this up. This is the GitHub repository for git signs. We'll make this image bigger. Git signs are, or the git decorations are these colored vertical bars to the left of your code. So you can see here these green bars represent that new code was added um, in this git revision or in this um, buffer. So it shows the difference between the changes you have in your buffer and the last or the latest git revision. So you can see green is for new, purple is for changed, and of course red will show up for any deleted. Uh, so pretty neat. In this video, we're going to cover how to install git signs. We're also going to cover some key mappings, uh, how to configure git signs with some status line integration as well. And also we're going to go over some basic usage. So let's jump right in. All right, so here we are in the init.lua file. Hopefully this text is big enough for you. If it's not, let me know in the comments and I'll make it bigger next time. But in our in my init.file, init.lua file, you'll notice a, a line here that says require lazy, set up plugins lazy. I use the lazy plugin manager to install all of my plugins. If you haven't heard of lazy, I'll, I'll link a video that I did on lazy up here on the top right. But essentially what this is saying is that Hey, we're going to load all of our plugins that are defined in a file called plugins lazy. So let's open up plugins lazy. I'm going to open up telescope here to navigate to plugins lazy. Here we are. I'm going to go all the way to the bottom of the file using shift G. Okay, cool. So you can see I already have git signs defined here. And one of the ways you can tell that is because I actually have a git sign here on the side of my screen which says, hey, yes, this is a new line and I haven't committed it yet. So uh, it's pretty easy. Just uh, add this line to your uh, plugins lazy file or whatever file that you're using with lazy. And that's all there is to it. So let's move on to how to configure git signs. I keep all of my plugin configurations in a file called plugin configs. So go to plugin configs, shift G to go all the way down. And it's very simple. You know, I'm just requiring git signs dot setup which tells git signs that we're uh, just using the default configurations for now. And we're also adding this line here, vim cmd set status line, git signs status. And what that does, it adds um, status line integration with git signs. So you'll see things in your status line that is indicative of new git, git changes or changes between your current buffer and the latest git revision. All right, so that's pretty cool. Um, next, let's talk about key mappings. The key mappings is an interesting one. So I keep all of my key mappings in a file called keymappings.lua. Let's go to keymappings.lua and let's search for git signs. Okay, cool. Um, so you can see here, I'm using which key to register new key mappings. Uh, which key is a plugin that helps you kind of just list out all of the plugins you have available. So if you press space bar for me, that's my leader key. You can see all of the available hotkeys or key mappings that you have here down at the bottom. This is which key, which key helps just kind of list out all of the available key mappings here. So one of my options is get signs. And that's what I'm saying here with these lines of code. I'm saying, hey, which key, we're going to register a new key mapping with a prefix of leader. So when I press my leader key, that's going to be the prefix. That's going to be the first key I press. And the next key is going to be G. And then I'm specifying S, U, R, P, B, F, and N. And each one of these keys does a different thing. So we're going to cover staging a hunk, undoing a staging a hunk, resetting a hunk, previewing a hunk, blame line, adding blame lines, which is a cool, neat little feature that we'll cover here in a little bit. We're going to diff this, which is kind of like a Vim diff. It splits the window and it shows you the difference between uh, what your current changes are and the latest git revision. And then next hunk, which just kind of iterates through all of the uh, changes 
that you've made. So those are my key mappings. We're gonna go ahead and save that and open up, let's open up key mappings because that was an interesting file. That one had the most changes in it. So search for git signs down below and here we are again. Okay, so let's test out some of these key mappings. Uh, so to stage a hunk, it's pretty easy. So my, my hockey is leader G S to stage hunk. As you can see down here, it's S stage hunk. So let's give that a shot S. All right. So you can see here that the git signs have went away here. And what does that mean exactly? Well, if I open up a terminal, do a git status, you can see here that we've staged in the dot Lua. Well, that one's been already staged. Ignore that one, but we've staged Lua dot key mappings. And if we do a git diff, we can see the things that we've uh, staged. So that's pretty cool, I would say. All right, so uh, go ahead and quit that. Yep, quit that. And close my terminal. Let's see what else we can do. Let's test out unstaging hunk. All right, so leader GU. Cool, so that unstages this hunk and we can see here that the git decoration is back. So that's how you can stage hunks and unstage hunks. So if you just wanted to commit certain lines in your file, you would stage those lines, just those lines or the hunk, and then commit them. That way you don't have to commit all of the changes in that one file. Um, so yeah, that's pretty neat. Let's also cover how to reset hunk. All right, so that's leader G. Uh, reset hunk is R for me. So R. Cool. So that just brought back all the things that I've had before. So you can see here uncommented this WK register block here that was, um, was commented before because all of the changes that I made for the, these lines are just, I just commented those lines. That's all I did. So when I reset the hunk, it kind of discarded those changes. So it went back to just uncommented code. All right, preview hunk. Let's go back down here to this block where we've made some changes and try preview hunk, which is leader GP. Cool, so that kind of brings up this pop-up window where you can see what the changes are. So we've deleted, you know, a few chat GPT visuals, and then we added the git signs lines to this, uh, to this hunk. Cool. It, uh, I think is Q or just any key to kind of uh, go back from that. And next blame line. Blame line is pretty cool. So let's go up here to where we don't, where we don't have any hunks and do leader G B for blame line. And you can see here who, who made that change and on what commit and what the commit message was. So that's pretty cool. It's a little blame line there for you. And uh, one cool thing is also you can do git signs blame. Uh, I think it was blame line. <clears throat> yeah, just to kind of bring it up if you don't want to use the key mappings itself. Cool. So another cool one is diff this. So let's go back down here to where we've made some changes and hit leader G. We're going to do F for diff this and a vim diff pops up. So you can see the changes that you've made side by side. That's pretty neat as well. Cool, so let's close the one on the left. And then last but not least, you can toggle between hunks. So let's just add some code here. Print hello. And then let's see how we can toggle between hunks. So let's leader GN. So you can see there that we've jumped in between lines. Pretty cool. So leader G N, leader G N, leader G N. Whoops, leader G N. Let's try that again. Uh, cool, and that just toggles or goes to the next hunk. Neat. So that is gitsigns.nvim. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you find this uh, plugin useful. If you have any other plugins that you'd like me to co cover, uh, please just comment down below and I hope you have a good weekend.